Okay, acceleration due to gravity. Um, it's pretty straightforward, actually, and it's maybe even a little more straightforward than you might have guessed. It turns out that we can see from experiment that acceleration for something that's in free fall, only experiencing gravity, is a constant number. It doesn't change uh, over time. It's also uniform. It doesn't really change, you know, where the object is as long as it's pretty near the Earth. Um, and it's independent of even the object that's falling. And that's the part that maybe, I don't know, seems surprising. And in another universe, maybe it's not that way, but in our universe, it turns out that it is. So it's really the acceleration due to gravity, that vector is just a number and a constant direction. And that number is 9.8 meters per second per second, which we will use as 10 meters per second squared in this class, just to make the math easier to do. Um, there's other units, 32 feet per second squared, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, you will remember, though, that because this is a vector, it has to have a direction, and that direction is downward. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, yeah, obviously, I know. But there will be a time when you will want gravity to be acting, you know, along a bill or around a corner or in orbit around the Earth or, you know, in some other way. Remember, gravity can only do one thing. It can only pull downward, meaning towards the center of the Earth. If you've encountered a physics class before, you may have learned that it's negative. And I'm going to push back hard on that. It's not negative. It's just downward. And in fact, if we choose an axis such that, for example, maybe X is in the horizontal and Y is positive downward, then gravity is positive because it has to be downward. So in this case, um, we can write down kinematic equations um, for an object that's just experiencing gravity. We had that X is X naught plus V X naught T plus one-half AXT squared, and Y is equal to Y naught, plus V Y naught T, plus one-half AYT squared. And from what I've been saying, for something that's only experiencing gravity, there is no acceleration in the X direction. So this term is zero. This term is zero. And in the y direction, we use this number so often, this acceleration due to gravity, that we give it a name. We call it g, 10 meters per second squared. So we can rewrite this as x equals x naught plus v x naught t. That's it. And y is y naught plus v y naught t plus one half g t squared. What do these two equations have in common? Not very much. All they have in common is time.